Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're gonna to talk about why you should not use the auctions as a metric for valuing cars. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and that is Adam. <laughs> and today, we're gonna to be talking about the auto auctions and why. You, you okay there, bro? <laughs> this, getting out of this is not a, whew. I'm all right. We're gonna talk about why using the auto auctions as a metric for valuation is actually not such a good idea. And we'll explain why in just a second. But real quick, if you'd like to subscribe, we do appreciate that. And of course, go visit normalguysupercar.com. They have parts and services for your car, including Murcielagos, which are apparently difficult to get in and out of. Um, I will admit, it actually kind of sucks. You kind of have to like roll out. Anyway, let's talk about these auctions and how they've just kind of gone bonkers and people are all of a sudden going, yeah, my car's worth a crap load. Mm, hold your No, horses. it's not. Hold on, hold on. Okay, YouTube, so I think it was last week was the, uh, what was it, not me, Barrett Jackson, the Barrett Jackson auction. Anyway, there's been some big auctions lately and oh my God, the number of emails and DMs and Facebook posts and whatever of people tagging me and being like, did you see this crazy price? I'm like, yes, I did. Holy crap. There were some cars that sold for ridiculous amounts of money that should not have sold for the ridiculous amounts of money that they did. For example, there was like a 458 that was like not even really well optioned and sold for something like $350,000. <laughs> was it a spider? I think it was a coupe. Mm. It was like a Rosso tan with like not even that much carbon fiber and it didn't even have that low miles. It's like 6,000 miles or something. I don't know the details. Anyway, no, it should not have gone for that much money. I don't know what happened if two people got drunk and they're like, I'm gonna bid you, bro. <laughs> something like that. Anyway, it was not good. That happened. There's a bunch of other cars at that auction that happened. And then on Bring a Trailer, again, people have been tagging me left and right on some of the Bring a Trailer auctions. They're like, did you see this crazy price? And I'm like, yeah, it's stupid. Who? I watch bringing trailer prices too. So here's the problem. Some of it's ridiculous. People cherry pick the yeah. crazy ones. And now what happens is they anchor values on those. And that's not how the market works. Okay, these are outliers. If you want to find an outlier, it must be greater than Q3 plus one and a half the interquartile range. Or it must be lower than Q1 minus one and a half times the interquartile range. When all the cars are selling between this price and this price, and one's way the f*** ah, out there. That's not what your car is worth. Right. Then people start going, <laughs> oh, my car's worth that. No, your car's worth here. Yeah. Here. This one probably has more options, lower miles. Or some stupid scenario like two people got drunk yeah. bidding. That one on, on uh, Barrett Jackson was not better option, not lower miles. But that does, again, that can happen. Sure, there could be some yeah. crazy reason why this one car is worth a crap load more than all the others. A 2,900 mile, which is not like super awesome, 2015 Ferrari 458 Spider. It's actually terrible. You should drive your cars more. It should be. It's in Grigio Titanium. Not like a super limited color, not even that super desirable. Not bright. Yeah. Uh, Cuyo leather, pretty standard here. Um, I mean, looking at the options, <laughs> nothing special, right? Like not like a ton of carbon fiber or anything like that. Sold for $335,000. $335,000. I think that's more than that car's MSRP. If not, it's at MSRP. That's and crazy. it's not a special enough car that it should be exceeding its MSRP. No. At least not yet. No. Maybe no. Yeah, that one, I just was like, oh my God, who spent that much money? Like, you know what happened? Two people are bidding on that, and tomorrow, one guy's gonna wake up and go, oh my God, I've got a $335,000 hangover. Actually, add in the fees, he's got a $340,000 hangover. And the other person's gonna wake up and go, oh my God, I'm so happy. Right. <laughs> Craziest thing about that, okay? That was a regular 458. Here's a 36, <laughs> 3600 mile 2015 458 Speciale. Which is worth more. Which is worth a lot more. It sold for 505. <laughs> That's a good deal. What the hell, like the person who bought that 335, Scored. you could have bought this for like a little over $100,000 more? Well, not a little more than $100,000. $160,000 more. That's a Okay, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's 50% more. <laughs> yeah. 50% more. 50% 50 more and you can have a speciality. I'm just saying, for every one crazy one, here's one that's actually priced correctly. In the current not, market, maybe a little low. that was a little low, in my opinion. Yeah. For 3,600 miles, a damn Which near brand new- It's a travesty that things should be driven. It but. should be. Going through some more examples, uh, 
Jeez. Here's a here's an actual reasonable priced car <laughs> based on its options. An 04 Lamborghini Murcielago six speed, actual six speed, 25,000 miles on it. It's in uh, Grigio Antres, black and white leather upholstery, blah, 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 decent number of options, 311,000. Yeah, that car is gonna be worth that all day long. Someone got a good deal on that. The only disappointing thing about that car is the color. Yeah, I know, it's kind of, <laughs> and the fact that it's an 04, it's not an LP, I wish yeah, it was an LP. If that was an LP, Oh my God, someone would have scored, <laughs> scored the century. But again, my point is for every crazy outlier auction, there are a bunch of normal auctions that go for reasonable prices. And that's what you got to base your values on. And the, the reason I'm getting pissed off about this is because now we're trying to do this dealership thing. People are like, hey, can you trade it? Can I do a consignment or trade in my car or whatever? And I'm like, sure, yeah, no problem. And they're like, they give me a number that they like, what's your bottom dollar? And they're like, oh, like, you know, I've got a F430. I want $150,000 for it. I'm like, uh, let me get this straight. You want $150,000 for your 45,000 mile 06 430 that's got no carbon fiber. You have to remember now, we're a dealership, or maybe we're not yet, depending on when our license comes through. We're <laughs> yeah. waiting on the license. <laughs> we're in the bureaucracy we're, hell. <laughs> we're not paying you retail. Yeah. We're paying below retail because we are a dealership. We are in this for a profit. We do have costs associated with it. That we, have we have to make to something. Cover. Yeah, so you're not gonna like our uh, offer if you're expecting to get full retail. If you want full retail, sell it on your own yeah. and deal with all the headache. Even the consignment cars, you gotta give us a real price. Yeah, like, yeah some people are just unrealistic. Because people keep anchoring their values on these crazy values and they're thinking that's what they're gonna get and then they're super disappointed when we bring in the reality of, you're not gonna get that or you might get that, but you're gonna take eight months to get that price. If, and they're like, I want this sold in a month. Cool. It's gonna happen, bro. Guess how you do that? You price the car correctly to the market. Oh yeah, here's, here's an actual reasonable car. In fact, this one was a good deal. This is a straight up good deal. 9,000 mile, 2000, uh, 2007 Ferrari F430. Sold on bat, 118.5. That was the one I sent you. I was like, That's, holy crap. Yeah, I, I was like. Like when you sent that to me, we're both like, whoa, did the bubble pop? <laughs> yeah, because the market softening. <laughs> yeah, that, someone got a good deal on that. Good Somebody job. Somebody got a killer deal, not yeah. a good deal. That car easily could sell at retail, 125, 135 all day long. Good job on that car. But again, if this is watching, a real value. Yeah, if, you want, if you want to sell that car for 118.5 to us, <laughs> give me a call. We'll take it off your hands. <laughs> Shameless plug. Yeah, yeah. People, just keep your heads in a reasonable state. Don't use these outliers as your anchoring point. Use the general market. And also, even when you go on other websites that aren't auction websites, if you go on Auto Trader or you know Car Cars.com, CarGurus, whatever, you go on those and you look at the market and you see some cars that are priced outrageous, you'll notice those cars have been listed forever. They've been on the market for a long time. They're the ones that aren't selling. The ones that are selling are the ones that are appropriate to the market and they're only, the, they're only there for like a week. Like, trust me, when we were trying to find this car, this Murcielago, in the few weeks that we were looking, we saw probably 25 to 30 cars get bought and sold in that period of time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was fast. The ones that were appropriately priced. There are still cars on there over a month later that have not actually sold that were priced inappropriately. So that shows you. Here's another craziness, absolute craziness. 1200 mile, 2005 F430 in OEM manual, $315,000. Drive your damn cars, people. I just, geez, that's a lot of money for that car. That's four, five, eight money. Granted, at 458, you can't get a stick in, but still. I get it. It's super low mile. 1,200 miles. Is that is... a convertible? Nope. nope. It's, it's a, a coupe. coupe. Rosso tan. I mean. Classic. Not my thing, interior-wise. Well. You can't deny how classic it is. Yeah. It's nuts. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is try and be reasonable. And if you are contacting us to get us to buy a car from you or something like that, be prepared that we're going to give you a offer that makes us money. We're not trying to be dicks. It just is what it is. We have to. We're I, a dealership. 
I'm not in the Maybe business now. of yeah. I'm not in the business <laughs> of selling cars to lose money. No. Yeah, we're not trying to rip people off. Like we're going to be transparent with the prices and everything like that. We haven't figured out exactly how we're going to do that, but that's one of our goals is to yeah. be transparent with yeah. the prices. We want to sell good cars at a reasonable price. We're not. So we're not trying to get. We're not trying to retire off of each car sale, but yeah. we are a business. Yeah, we have to make something to yeah. cover our costs and hopefully make us some more. money. Yeah. Things are nuts, so please don't use the outliers as examples. And maybe stop exalting the cars that make crazy like prices because- don't put them on a pedestal. Yeah, it, it becomes the anchoring point. It's just, <laughs> it's crazy. All right, YouTube. Well, hopefully some of you are interested in some of the cars that we're trying to buy and sell through our dealership. So go check out NG Supercars. There probably isn't anything on the inventory right now because again, we're in the process of getting our license. Uh, we're trying to get that set up. We have a lot of stuff in place, we just don't have the license yet. And well, you know, it's bureaucracy, what can you say? <laughs> so we're working on that, we're trying hard. Hopefully we'll have it very soon. But other than that, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Of course, go visit normalguyssupercar.com. There you go, parts and services for your car. You should probably even check out like eagusa.com. I haven't plugged them enough lately, you know? Some of you want that manual gated shifter experience but don't wanna pay $315,000 for a Ferrari F430? <laughs> well, guess what? You could go buy a Ferrari F430 for apparently 118,005, put 35,000 in the conversion and have the same experience. I'm just saying. In fact, actually, it's probably a better experience because we use better parts, but whatever, we're not gonna go there now. We'll be doing a lot more cool car stuff, so you are gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be reasonably priced.